Hey, Candy. Candy. Hi, good morning, Paolo. Good morning, Roger. Good morning, Paolo. Good morning, Roger. How are you? Doing well. How are you both doing this morning? Good. Especially well talking to you. Oh, thank you. The feeling is mutual. You know, Paolo, as the Associate Director of Consumer Affairs at SAMHSA, can you tell us more about the agency, please? Sure. SAMHSA is uh, one of about a dozen different agencies within the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and uh, our focus is on improving mental health and addiction treatment services around the nation. And this question is for both you and Roger. How has mental illness affected and shaped your life, and how do you... How did you first become involved in advocating for substance abuse and mental health? Let me start and then Roger, you can, uh, you can no add problem. to this. But um, I am personally impacted by mental health issues in that I have uh, uh, suffered from depression for most of my life. And actually since the, since the third grade was my first experience and I've been suicidal, have received various forms of mental health treatment and services um, and uh, using that experience, as well as those of many of my uh, immediate family as well, experiencing the same issues, uh, really gives me the passion for the work that I do and why, why I, I uh, advocate around mental health and addictions issues is because of that own personal experience uh, that, that I've had. And, and as for myself, Candy, uh, my, my first real introduction to the, the issues on a professional level was when I was working in the U.S. Senate. Uh, I was uh, staffed to Senator John Kerry back in 1996 uh, when uh, the Republicans actually came in with a massive uh, budget-cutting bill that would have eliminated a huge portion of the budget from SAMHSA. And John Kerry and I took, uh, you know, I t John Kerry took to the floor with me behind him to fight it. And that's when I learned some important statistics like the fact that every dollar of funding that's spent on substance abuse and mental health treatment saves seven dollars for the American consumer um, almost immediately. It just, it just makes sense. And Roger, as a talented writer and producer yourself, can you tell us about this year's Voice Awards? Yeah, sure. I, the, the Voice Awards every year is, is really an amazing experience, but this year one of the things that's really an, an honor for us in this community is that Ron Barber is coming. Ron Barber, um, you, may, you may know, is the deputy director for um, Gabrielle Gifford's state office. Uh, and so he was one of the people who was shot back on January 8th. Uh, and he's coming along with the mayor of Tucson and his wife. And the three of them have been advocating um, uh, greater funds and greater programmings to help people who have suffered from collective trauma like that. And one of the reasons why I'm going to be so honored to meet Ron this evening is that I'm part of that family. Anybody who, was, who watched what happened to Gabrielle Giffords, anyone who watched what happened on 9-11, we've all become collectively part of the experience of dealing with um, national events. We're all going through trauma on a very regu regular basis, and we need to be aware of the impact it has on us, and we need to be able to reach out for help. Absolutely. Paolo, can you give us a little more background on some of the other recipients this year? Sure, and uh, the basic premise of the Voice of Words is to recognize uh, TV and film productions that have done an outstanding job of uh, addressing mental health and addictions issues, uh, as well as community leaders like uh, uh, the Tucson Mayor and Ron Barber. But some of the productions that are nominated uh, for awards this year include the TV series uh, Parenthood. The My favorite show. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, and the, uh, actually, the, uh, one of the stars of that show, Peter Krause, is going to be our host tonight. Um, we're also uh, recognizing the series Grey's Anatomy, um, as well as Private Practice and the actress Kate Walsh will also uh, be there with us tonight. Some of the um, uh, films that we'll be recognizing, including The Fighter, as well as The King's Speech. So that's just a sampling of, of some of the uh, productions. We, we are going to be uh, webcasting the event. Uh, live tonight starting at 6.15 Pacific Time. If, uh, if your uh, audience wants to go to www.samhsa.gov slash voice awards, that's SAMHSA, S-A-M-H-S-A dot gov slash voice awards, one, one word, they can start seeing the uh, red carpet arrival at 6.15 tonight. And how are recipients, you know, chosen, and how are they um, nominated for awards? 
We get nominations from both the entertainment industry, from writers and producers, as well as from the public. And um, what's been really interesting, uh, Candy, is that we've seen an increase in the number of nominations each year for the six years that we've done the Voice Awards. This past year, we've had 200 nominations, most ever around TV and film productions. We then have writers and producers who help us with the judging. We have people from the mental health and addictions community that help us with the judging. We have a, a kind of a, a, a three-step process to do the judging to when we get to the final winners that will be announced tonight. And do you have any additional information or anything you'd like to share with viewers? You know, the one message, and Roger, you could, Roger, you can add to this, but the one main message I'd certainly like to, to leave you with, and that's the message of recovery, and that people can and do overcome mental health and addictions issues to uh, live happy and full lives. And I'd just like to encourage uh, your, your, your viewers and your readers and your listeners to actually check out the webcast and also to check out SAMHSA's website, SAMHSA.gov. Um, because there's a lot of information there that's genuinely helpful, a lot of things there that people, I think, will find inspiring and, and, and universal. Um, when, you, when you watch the award ceremony tonight, there's so many times that they'll pan around the audience and you'll see Laura San Giacomo crying or you'll see Melissa Manchester, you know, nodding her head. What's going on with mental health um, and these issues is, is something that we all are touched by, affected by, and experience ourselves. I couldn't agree more, and I love what you're both doing, so thank you very much, and I will be watching tonight, and I'll make sure that my viewers are too, so thank you again. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Candy. Thank you.